Well, today I thought I'd start with the view outside. This is just on sunset in Thames, New Zealand. It's uh, just past the shortest day. But getting some beautiful blue skies. So, uh, the next uh, project I'm going to describe is actually um, just a simple manufacture of a bell. And this came about because um, the lathe I have I inherited from my father, and when my brother came to visit, he had never used a lathe before, and I thought it would be appropriate for him to have a go. So I showed him how to make a bell, and it worked out very nicely, and I thought it might be a project somebody else might like to do. So, uh, very simple, straightforward project really, but uh, let's have a look at it. After polishing, the bells are sprayed with a um, alcohol-based lacquer, which prevents them from tarnishing. Keeps them nice and shiny. You've probably noticed already that there are actually two bells, very, very similar. The first one was the one that was made by my brother, and then I was jealous when he went away with it, and I decided I wanted one myself, so I made a second one, and most of the filming was done with the second version. You'll notice that I'm using my new direct current motor, which has variable speed, so the speed goes up and down at various different times, but also I've increased the speed of the video so that it speeds up to two times, four times, eight times, twenty times at some stages. We'll do some skiving off here and see how we get on. <laughs> now, skiving in the turning world means to use a very broad tool which is shaped in advance by grinding it to the shape you want so that you can create that curve or shape in the finished work. So here you're seeing a, a very wide curved tool that I'm used to make the, the bell-shaped bottom of the bell. Uh, but because it's so broad, it does cause a lot of problems with chatter. <laughs> Just because of the size of the tool. Yeah. Yeah, that's the trouble, it's just the width of the tool is causing a problem. The drill chuck is held in on a Morse taper and as you can see I'm having a bit of trouble with it spinning around and it's probably got a bit of oil on it so I pulled it out and used some solvent to clean the oil off and put it back together again. You may have seen me using this material before. It's made from the propeller shaft of a fishing boat and is alu bronze, which doesn't have any tin in it like regular bronze. It's 11% um, or 12% aluminium, 4% nickel, and 85% copper. And it's very smooth to cut, it's really nice. It uh, also comes off in nice little spirals, it doesn't make such a big mess as the fine little chips you get off brass.
I just want to drill this hole deep enough uh, up to the point where the bell is going to be cut off rather than cutting right into that big block. And I'm using the ruler that's um, built into the um, quill, that uh, shaft that I, is uh, moving forward right now with the drill on it, that shaft is called the quill and it's got graduation marks like a ruler so you can tell how deep you've gone. Some people modify their legs with DRO or putting a vernier caliper on there to uh, help them make the measurement. I'm now tapping by hand a 6mm thread which will allow us to screw the handle onto the bell. And although I'm turning it by hand, I'm using the centre on the lathe to connect to the very back end of the tap. A lot of taps are sold with a small centre hole in the very top end of the, of the tap, which helps you to keep it straight. Previously I broke my 6mm tap and had to go and buy a new set. Now these ones came with a starter tap, which is tapered, or a taper tap, an intermediate tap, and a blind tap, or third tap. Um, and in this case I've got a hole that's almost blind, and I'm using a, uh, this sequence of taps so that I can tap all the way to the bottom of the hole. The last tap is not tapered so that it can thread all the way. Unfortunately I didn't film the turning of the handle. Uh, it's actually th threaded on the lathe with a 6mm thread that screws into the top of the bell.
That ringing was incredibly loud and came as a complete surprise. I've done it before by ringing, running my finger around the top of a wine glass before, but not at 1200 RPM, and it wasn't nearly as loud. Of course, these copper strips are used as uh, jaw protectors to prevent them from damaging the the um, bronze bell, which is of course softer than jaw than the jaws of the chuck. But it does uh, impair the 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 grip that the chuck has on the bell. We've seen before that these wide skiving tools put a lot of load on the work and tend to cause chatter and sometimes jam in the work. I've ground this big chunk of high-speed steel, tall steel, with these curves on the end and they can actually fl be flipped over to, to do the curve in the opposite direction, concave and convex, so I've got all four on one tool. Now you didn't hear me say a thing, did you? Just stay calm and carry on. These are the offsets that I made in a previous episode. They're very handy. The method I use for the dial gauge is turn the chuck around 360 degrees and see how much excursion there is in the needle. And if it moves, say, 20 points, 
then we turn it around till it reaches its high point and then tap it until it gets down to 10 units halfway and then we turn it around again and theoretically it should be perfect but uh, with tapping it's very difficult to get it exactly right uh, it may have been easier if I used a four draw chuck actually that would have been easier to uh, make the adjustments after these major collisions the uh, bell ended up with a few fender benders and dents and uh, so what I'm doing now is trying to line it up so that I can turn the outside again and get rid of those dents since the outside is going to be turned again it doesn't have to be really high precision this method of mounting the bell allowed me to turn right up to the edge which we wouldn't have been able to do if I had it in a four door chuck I finish off with 1200 grit emery paper and then brasso of course, polish and polish 